I, I want to do a little teaser for you. And I, I'll give you the bottom line at the top. The bottom line is there is something in communications, and that's interprofessional inter communications within one profession and in excuse me, intra-professional, within one profession, and among professions as well, among the, 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 the three tri-professions, as it were. Uh, the same thing is a problem, is that something in communication very often goes wrong. And I am going to show you, uh, coming up soon, um, uh, how to identify and remedy that major obstacle in communication. And I thought I'd throw out a little analogy for you. Um, this is something um, that I gathered from, you know, I read very um, abstruse medical journals uh, like Newsweek, um, uh, which is very, very, very good. I, I know almost everything I need to know uh, from Newsweek. But in, apparently in Newsweek, um, uh, they, they, they announced recently that astrophysicists have discovered the, the missing ingredient in the universe, in the cosmos. Apparently, there's this material, uh, which I think people have suspected for a long time, called dark material. I know where I'm going with this. Don't, just stay, stay with me for a second. Dark material is invisible. It doesn't emit light. In fact, it may be partly uh, composed of old, dark, uh, old black holes from which light cannot escape. But it's a hugely dense thing, and dark matter um, affects... The, the, everything in the universe. So the, the, when you think you should go in a straight line from A to B, you, you find yourself suddenly bending around the corner, and that's because of dark matter. Uh, stay with me. D dark matter is invisible, invisible, very dense, and affects everything near it without being detected. Okay? The exact opposite, of course, is, is, I guess, light matter, which is incredibly visible, um, has no weight, and has no effect on anything at all. For, for example, uh, Sarah Palin. 